Oh! Yeah, see him down there. There's oh, there's a, a catfish. Cat. I think we have two. We have giant. two fish. We got the crappie. Oh, we got the old crappie. Ah! 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 He just bit me. Oh, we got a fish. To oh, sh it's a turtle. Shoo! What's going on, folks? Welcome back to another video. We're starting the day off. We are at the backyard pond, and it is time to use some goldfish we ordered off of Amazon to hopefully catch some fish in the backyard pond. We got some goldfish on Amazon. Big, giant, jumbo goldfish. It's like this new thing. I'm realizing you can buy live creatures on Amazon. I never knew that you could do it. We bought the crawfish. You guys thought that was interesting. And I was like, hmm, let me see what else is on there. So I go on Amazon. I start Googling around a little bit. Boom! Giant goldfish, and boom, they got delivered today. So, I will say, rather expensive in comparison to like Petco or really? pretty much oh, anything you buy live on Amazon is like, I don't know what this was. A lot, like 80 bucks, I think, for like Ooh, maybe 10 or 20 of them. I'm not really sure. But anyways, you got a knife on you? I do. Let's go ahead and get this sucker open. It says live fish. Well, it just says fish, but it says live fish. Oh, yeah, there it is right there. Live fish. They just got here this morning. So we're like, hey, let's go down. We got, look, no wind. It's going to be beautiful. We have some jugs. Go ahead and give this sucker a cut. See, I want to see how big. It said jumbo. It's jumbo goldfish. I don't know what jumbo means. I hope they're not like feeder goldfish because I'm trying to catch a big old kegger today. But. Oh, yeah. Give her the old, give alive. her the old slice. I hope so too. I, I really, really do yeah, hope so. Last night, sometime. Yeah. All right. Moment of truth. Oh, I, oh, see I can't. I, see, I can't really see much. Oh, they gave her the old double bag. That's good. Oh, they oh, are alive. alive. They're yeah. Swimming. There's air. You pull them suckers out of there. Let's see. Oh, look at those. Oh, they are alive. big. Look how big oh, they are. God. Those are some mondos. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. That's gonna be good. We got a little minnow bucket. We're gonna transfer them into. All right. These guys. Oh, hang on. Give me a second. Oh, red, oh. red, come here, Junior. Okay. Was that just? Was there only one that got? Yeah. There you go. No bait. I mean, they're bigger than I thought they'd be. I was worried they were gonna make that little feeder fish. Oh god. See, so oh, this guy, yeah, he's a big. This is a big chila. Right there. That's a pretty good size one. Yeah, it is. Water's actually pretty clean too, so I'm hoping we can do a little sight fishing. But what we? Oh, hey, how's it going? Yeah, grab the other angle. We got a. Uh, jugs for uh hopefully some kitty cat meow we're gonna throw some jugs out so the plan is there's a lot going on today folks we've got we got a shipment from amazon of these guys we're gonna go out and set the jugs out once the jugs are set you guys remember the last jug fishing video we sat here and just watched the jugs and it felt and we'd see it go and then we'd go get you guys were commenting flair you just need to take the jugs out and set them and leave them you gotta leave for a couple hours before you check them again so we're taking your guys advice we're gonna check them probably every two hours we're gonna throw them out we're gonna leave them. We're gonna go up. The post office is supposed to be getting more birds today. I know, we already got some chicks, uh, some little chickens, but what we're gonna do is we have, I think, well I ordered, spoiler alert, I ordered some guineas, some more broilers, some pheasants and quail. I don't know which birds are coming today, but supposed to, I don't, it could be all of them, could be one of them, I don't know. But I looked at the tracking and it said, delivery expected today. So they get delivered to the post office, we have to go to the post office, pick them up, and get them set up. So basically, by the time we get this set up, I'm guessing it's gonna be about time for the post office. We can at least set up their little stations, if not, probably get them ready to go. So we're gonna do a little bit of farming chores, and then we'll come back and check the jug. So you guys stay tuned. God dang. Almost died. Banjo definitely would have been in the water. Man, this water's clean. Can you guys see that? Is a polarizer working on this thing? You see them? Can you see them pipes? Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm glad. All right. We got the polarizer back. You guys were saying, Flair, we can't ever see any of the fish you're talking about. So we got the polarizer on. We gave you guys Mondo Optic Vision. So, I mean, we probably could catch a bass too. Bass, catfish, pretty much anything is, you, anything we should eat a goldfish, I would think. It's the snack that smiles back. Everybody loves that thing. All right. So, lay this here. If you guys don't know, we did buy these. These jugs are not homemade. They're pre-made. Pre we buy them at Walmart. That's the old, you're too lazy to tie an actual drop line. Uh, so you put the old snap swivel and a little hook that's too small and the snap swivel that's too big. But for today, I'm guessing it should work. We, I don't know, we got maybe 10, wow, I just about died. We got 10 foot of line that goes down and then anchors it with a little two ounce weight. Grabbing one of these bad boys, hooking them right above the dorsal. He's still yeah, kicking. That's it. He's still kicking. All right, so you take the next hook. You can, I've seen people hook them through the nose too. I don't know, maybe, wow. Try one of each. That's a, that's, oh, oh Brent, no. That's a big old boy. Yeah, we can know we can nose hook them. I think the dorsal is a better move, but doors or uh, but the I mean the nose hook will work too, just like that. So the nose hook's on the bottom. Get to your spot. Look at him, see him swim down there. You take the other one. How's he doing? Oh, that's good. Oh, you He's see him? Kicking. You see him? See him kicking? All right. Should we give her hell right here? Sure. Boom. I can. 
No, I can't see that goldfish. Not Almost. Quite. That's probably about four feet deep. It so the bottom, though. That's pretty much the plan. We're going to go and set all these jugs out. And we've got, how many we got? We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We got eight jugs, plenty of them. Oh, look at the fry around that. Oh, my goodness. Wow, there's a lot of fry. So the spawn has happened here at the uh, the backyard pond. So anyways, let's get, get to rigging and get to dumping. Stay tuned. <laughs> Alrighty, folks. Well, we got uh, all of them out, but one. We got one left. I'm doing a little quick. Oh, there's a bass right there. We might come back with the old rod and reel. I, I've seen a couple. Might be able to flip and pitch. We have it in the side by side, so I might see if there's anything that's accessible from the shore before we go up. But uh, I just got a text saying the birds are here, so we kind of got to hurry. We don't have a whole lot of time, but I'm gonna throw throw this one. There's a feeder right here. You'd think, hey, that's maybe a decent spot. One would think. So I might just chuck this guy out. Kind of in front of the feet. Oh, this is a long daddy, too. Mm -hmm. Boom. All right, they're out. We got eight, I think eight of them out there with some goldfish. How many goldfish we got left? Mm, decent amount. Oh, yeah. No, there's some in there. All right. Well, that's that's it for the jugs. I'm going to grab a rod out of the back of the side-by-side -side real quick. There's a bass I can kind of see. He's swimming around up there. Let me see if I can catch him real quick. Stay tuned. All right, we got the old Guggen finesse rod, which is a little circle hook action. Dude, I feel like goldfish are a superior bait. People are, they're just slept on. Cause, cause it's just, they're so shiny. Mm -hmm. They're they are not super long. They got some good meat to them. They stay on the hook well too. They stand, look at, oh my. And they just go I want I wanna eat them. All right, here we go. Guggen's oh, here he's on it, he's on it. He took it. Oh, he come on. Oh, he took your fish. Dude, that was crazy being able to see that. <laughs> he's munch, I mean, he's still munching on it, isn't he? Yeah. Sucker. All right, we lost one already. Maybe no soak this one. Say, so yeah, I can try no soak and maybe he eats it head first. Might get him. Oh, oh, hang on, boys. Hang on, boys. We got a jug uh -oh. going up. We got <laughs> I knew this was going to happen. We got to go take care of these birds, but we got to go get that fish. There's one on a jug right here. All right, we'll let him do his thing. All right, let's go catch this fish. The, one we, the last one we put out already got hit. Moment of truth, boys. Huh? Oh, that bottom one got beat. Really? Right back in. Okay, well, give him some, give him some time. Anyone else? This is why we have to go do the chickens, because this. Mm -hmm. We'll do this all day. You, I, I did I not say in the beginning, I, I imitated you guys. You were like, Flair, you can't just sit there and watch them, and every time they get a little bite, you gotta go check on it, you gotta leave for two hours. I should listen to you guys. Okay, we're going up to the shop. Let's go take care of some chickens. Then we'll come back, and hopefully have big shield. Stay tuned. Shoo! We're back up in the shop and wah bam! We just got the delivery from the post office and it is time to unbox these baby birds. So, uh, like I said, we ordered a handful of different ones. Only two came in, but what we have on this side are 30 bob white quail. Look at these guys. They're so small. Dude, they're literally just like popcorn chicken. Hey, buddy. Oh my goodness. How's it going, little guy? He's so cute. It's a baby. Holy crap. Oh, you caught, no, 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 get down, no, sit down. You sit down. Look how cute they are. They're so little. Holy crap. They are adorable. 30 Bob Whites. Remember last year oh, we, get down, buddy. we had Bob Whites too. Um, and we, I mean, we lost a handful, but we, we, we raised them and then Lucy, we trained Lucy with them. That was good. And then, blah, bam, something we've never had. Oh. Oh, red. We red already killed one. Red. Oh, there's a quail in here. Oh. Hey, how's it going? These are pheasants. These are ring neck pheasants. The ones you. Oh, hang on, oh, Junior. He just. He I just, just Hey, get down. Get down. These are ring neck pheasants. Like the ones you hunt. Look at these guys. Pheasants. We've never had these before. I've always wanted pheasants. I finally found them. So we got 10. Well, look, now nine. Look at their wings. That's cool. See the little like, stripes coming yeah. in? Yeah. Dude, That's these sweet. are going to be. These, these are, are going to be so be, cool. These are going to be sweet. So, pheasants and quail. Um, and then we got all. We, we're starting a chicken farm. Or a bird farm, I should say. We've got two new tubs. Some shavings, we got a million feeders and waters, lights, boom, boiler alert, incubators. Someday we'll have some eggs to put in those. You have to look forward to some. We're gonna start hatching, breeding, raising, eating, selling, releasing. We're gonna be doing everything that you could possibly do uh, to raise birds. Cause we think it's fun, we think it's cool. Especially like the Bob Whites and the ring necks is something like you could 
potentially hunt someday, or I don't know, I've seen people raise them and then release them. You have to talk to the DNR. There's different rules in different states, stuff like that. But uh, anyway, so let's get maybe this guy. guy. Yeah, this guy's just a little bit smaller. Let's pull this guy over and get these guys ready, ready to go. I think, oh, look at that. Look how perfect that is to slide it's under there. So this table can have the incubators on it. And then when the birds are, uh, you know, old enough to go in here, once they hatch, you put them in here. And then once they're too big for this, you take them down to the animals and we'll just have a cycle. So you have some in the shop, you have some in the incubators. Well, it'll be incubators, shop, and then down by the animals in the barn. And then after that, we'll be in the outside pens. So we'll have like phases. So we'll just rotate birds kind of as we go. So, all right, go ahead and dump them. And I learned folks, especially with these little guys, you got to use little shavings. We made the mistake on our last chickens. You're not supposed to use the big wood shavings. I guess for some reason they, they said they eat it, which I'm like, I feel like they would eat that more likely, but I, they're having a hard not, time getting around. Yeah. It, yeah. So, so. I, I don't know if it's true or not, but everyone always says use the fine pine shavings in the very beginning when they're little. And we've got all these little starter waters, which I think should be nice. Little one quart and uh, some food. These are all waters, aren't they? Yeah. Water, water, water. And then food over there. We got some couple blue ones. Oh, and then we've got this guy and we've got long dong right here. We've got everything we need. We even got a little light for them. So keep them nice and toasty. And uh, ooh, you know what we didn't get? Mm. Thermometer. I'm gonna have to go find. I bet what I got one in the in the house. And spread that around a little bit. Oh yeah, that's good. Yeah. Yeah. They'll they'll go down there and they'll kick it. Mm -hmm. All right. So uh, should we get some food and water set up? Get a water. Yeah, we got a little water right there, so we can keep a nice little water. So we're trying again. Comment down below if you guys have a better system for this, but we're trying to get efficient and effective at raising livestock. Try to lose as minimal amount of these guys as possible, um, which is another reason why we're gonna keep them in the shop for the first week because it's gonna be easier. I mean, my house is right there. I can buzz over here every couple hours and check on them. It's a little bit more climate controlled in here. So, bam, we got the water. Water's in. You stick a feeder in here. But instead of closing it and using it, you use this feeder to transport water into the other, or food into the other feeder. And still 80% of it. Yeah, I ain't doing too bad. You get your cup. How's that? That's good for now. We'll add, we'll add some more. We'll go get a cup. We'll get, get the real deal. So we're going to put the light on this side. So I would, in my experience, I've killed more birds because it's too hot and then too cold. In my experience, so I'm going to put their food and water away from the light, not like super far away. And then we'll take this light and we'll stick this light on this end. And so that way they've got a hot side and a not hot side, just like that. So we'll have to get a thermometer. Let there be light. Oh, dang, that thing's freaking bright. We'll just kind of have to see. We might have to flip it and drop it down a little bit further. But um, I mean, I've seen people direct do it. I've seen people kind of cast it in there like this. I don't know if there's a right or a wrong way. I think overall, as long as the tub is fairly warm, you should be should be good to go. So they got food, they got water. All right, here we go, boys. Welcome to paradise. Oh, ripped that guy. You got it, you, you got it, the old ring necks. And I doubt the ring necks and the quail will do great once they get a little older, but I think for now they're probably all right. At least for, I, my goal is to have these in here for like four days and then kick them down to the shop. We still got a couple more. Come on. All right, quail. Here, buddy. Those dude, these so are so loud. cute, bro. Oh, look how cute these are, dude. Oh my goodness. You just got a handful wow. of quail. Oh, hang on. All right, pheasants, don't kill the quail, all right? <laughs> They're just jumping out. They're hauling ass. Oh, you got it. No, get up. You got <laughs> there it. you go. You got it. You got it. You got it. You got it. I believe in you. You got it. You got it. There they are. That's it. None of those died. How are they? Do dude, they're, they're doing good, I feel like. Just to, I mean, I'm sure they're gonna be all right, but it's one of them things, like, we have to. I'm just, that's that's what will kill them, the dehydration. That's how we lost our other chickens. It's just, they gotta get this water, and it doesn't seem like any of them understand what it is quite yet. Smarter, you, bun, you gotta be smarter than the jar. It's like this SpongeBob I said, the lid. The, the lid. lid. <laughs> the, the lid. Almost too tall. Yeah. Those quail are small. We might need to get some lids. Some like peanut butter jar lids. Peanut butter jar, or you like the peanut, like that are on peanuts, like a like a mm -hmm. jar of peanuts, like the real skinny ones. I just, I've heard of that happening. They get in it, they get wet, they're gonna be freezing. Like this guy, he's in, mm -hmm. no, get out, Junior. Freaking rip. Either way, we got, we'll go, we'll go figure something out. But it's been eh, about an hour and a half or so, so. We'll go ahead and get these guys situated, and then uh, see you guys down by the pond. Stay tuned. Shoo! We're back, folks. All right, two hours down. All you commenters, Flair, you need to wait at least two hours. Well, here we are, two hours later, ready to go look for some fish. 
on the old jugs. What's going on here? You seeing much? Yeah, there's a bunch of old baby like bluegills. There. Really? Oh yeah, there are some baby. Oh look at the bass. There's some bass right there swimming. Little guys. All right, two hours. I listened to your. Oh, there's that's. Oh, that's big Sheila. That's the one that ate my bluegill or my my goldfish. That was for sure the fish that ate my goldfish. See, I'm distracted. But we have one, for sure one fish. Look at that, see that noodle way back there? Yeah, we didn't put that noodle back there. So we've got one fish. So we were also talking, we're like, man, we might make this a catch and cook. We'll see what we catch. If it's a, if, you know, if it's a decent sized bass, not a big bass, but you know, just a little, like this guy. We could always eat him, but I only I only want to eat a bass if it's gut hooked because we are fishing jugs that can happen. Um, but if we catch a nice eater catfish, we'll eat them. So if it's a catfish, we'll eat them, and if it's a gut hooked bass, we'll catch clean cook them. That's pretty much the plan. Some bad news: our men, our, our goldfish got the, a little hot in the sun. Are they are they so they're, they're KO'd? So. I can give her the old twitch. Yeah, you're gonna have to use like a I'll get, bait. I'll give her the old twitch. Wow, they're coming. Oh, oh, rip. Oh. What happened there? Come off. We got a hooked fish over there. So enough messing around. We got, oh, no, he's back. I know he's. Listen, he wins. <laughs> he I, wins. Yeah, today. I'm, I'm, I'm taking. Right. That, I'm taking that. All right, we're gonna check this first jug, and then we'll go. We know there's a fish on that one. Mm, nothing. Oh! What? He got KO'd. Head gone, son. Rip. See any? Oh, that one's got one. That one's got oh. one. It's dancing. It's dancing. It's giving it the old. It's yeah. giving the old dance. Okay. So we got two. I'm gonna unhook this guy line this sucker up so we're gonna grab this guy's definitely got a fish that's that got a fish so we've got two. Oh, there's two jugs in that cove Ooh, so the bush dreams are made of i, I can't i don't see i can't, that I can't see either jug over there so there might be some there we might be in good shape you'll leave it for two hours you guys are always right you know that you're like my wife well i see him down there it's a crappie oh it's, it's a, a huge it's a crappie there's oh there's a, a catfish cat. i think we have two we have two fish cat. we have two fish there's a crappie and a catfish we have two we have two there's two fish on here there's two fish on here I, got, I don't know how to get them out. Oh, boys, there might be scuba diving here. Dude, giant cat and a crappie on the same jug. Oh, oh, he's right here. Oh, my God, he scared the hell out of me. We got the net. You want to see if you can just net He's it? right here. He's right here. He's right here. I got the crappie. This is the oddest thing I've ever seen. I'm <laughs> unhooking a fish underwater right now. To... I got to undo the snap swivel. <laughs> I can't get the hook out. What a mess. Dude, I'm just doing surgery on this thing underwater. We got the crappie. Oh, we got the old crappie. Good. Swallowed it. That's the lunch, boys. Is he dead? I'm sorry. He's That's dead. a nice crappie. That is a really Dude, nice there's a crappie. giant catfish down <laughs> yeah. here. He's right here. He's right here. Uh, 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 oh. uh. He's just barely. Don't unhook him yet. Uh, uh, uh. Need to cut him? He's it? right here. I'm scared. Where's the knife at? You laying on it? Uh, yeah, I can't believe you wrangled him. We're getting him. Yank him in. Ah! 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 He just bit me. This might be one of those little blues, dude. Yeah. He's angry. Uh, I'm trying to unhook him. I got the hook right here. Uh, I got him. I got him. You got him? I got him. I got him. I got him. Oh, no. Nice. I got him. Let's freaking go. That's, that's a little angry. channel. He bit the hell out of my hand, though. Yeah, that's a nice channel, though. Look at that. <laughs> Hillbilly and fishing boys. <laughs> we were freaking elbow deep. Literally. Woo! All right. Two for one right now. I say we're eating. We're eating good <laughs> now, boys. With the old cooler. Wow. Yeah, let's toss them in the old cooler. Look at that. Woo! Hillbilly hand fishing, boys. I kind of like this jug fishing thing. That was, that was awesome. the craziest thing, dude. I'm just like feeling around. I'm like, oh, there he is. Pull him straight out. Let's go, baby. All right. <laughs> I wouldn't give it up there, boys. I was this close to getting naked. You guys almost saw something nice. That water feels so really? good, dude. <laughs> I, was well, I, de that. I definitely would have went naked for him, even if I didn't have to. All right, let's go grab this fish. Same spot. Oh! What is the deal with the crappie dang? The crappie and the goldfish strat, I guess. Really? Dude, I for, didn't cross my mind the crappie were going to be on fire today. They like the old orange daddy. Is he alive? Doesn't sound like He's it. dead. Oh, yeah? So oh, he's definitely dead, yeah. Yeah, you got you two hour guys. Again, you must be catching cookers because you ain't, you ain't releasing nothing, so don't try to catch. Like I said, if we catch a bass, more likely it's gut hook. But it's it's effective. Uh -huh. I mean, set him out. Go. Oh yeah, he's dangling. Oh yeah. Go take a nap. Oh take, yeah. Look at that. Joke. Take a little snoozer. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. He's getting it. See, my guess is he's small. Mm -hmm. Anytime I've seen him pop they like fight that. It, yeah, little, little, yeah. Little, like usually a little catfish. But I knows? hope he's huge. Maybe it's big, big Sheila. All right, boys. Here we go. Oh yeah. 
Oh, cat. Big oh, cat. Big, big cat. cat. Giant cat. Massive cat. cat. Giant cat. Oh, my God. Giant kitty cat. Yeah. That's big Sheila there, buddy. Yeah, it is. Oh, yeah. She's not hooked bad. We'll release her. She's nice. Oh, yeah. Ah, ah, ah. Why do these things like to do that? Ah, there goes my hand. Look at that big boy. <laughs> oh, yeah. We're going to release her. She ain't bleeding too bad. All right. Back in the water. It's a lucky day, kitty cat. Ow, oh, wow. She's feisty. Sheesh. Oh. Just got my ass kicked by that sucker. Oh, we got a fish. You do? Oh, shit. Oh, it's a turtle. Snapper. Oh, we got a. Damn it. What? Damn it. No. Oh, 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 oh. oh. That was. That just went in my hand. Oh. oh you're getting. God beat bless up America. Today. How did that even. Who got him? At, no. There he is. He's all wrapped up too. There get, he is. Oh, he's hooked in the belly. Grab the pliers again. There it is. Get out me boat. He's free. See you later, Junior. Look at him. Little dinosaur. That's crazy. Aren't those the craziest those little suckers? So cool. Oh, they're so mean. Oh my god, rip. We're doing really well, but we're also getting our ass kicked. I'm getting my ass kicked. <laughs> I, I, that was not what I was expecting. Dude, you know what I just thought of? Huh. What if, this is bad. Oh, yeah. That just scared me. What if we just saw the crappie and I was reaching down there to untangle it and be like, oh, there's another catfish. And on it there. was a turtle. <laughs> Dude, he felt just like a catfish because uh -huh. he was sitting there like that. He reached down there like, I'm going to lip him. Dude, I'd come up like that. Uh -huh. I'd be like, rip, rip. Next jug, boys. We put this one pretty close to where it's at. It's a little off. <sighs> wow. Clean. Oh, yeah, that's clean. clean. She gone. She cleaned. That's all right. We're still doing pretty good. And we got... At least two by the bush left. Is that all of them? How many do we have? Five, six, and we had eight. Yeah, two left. Uh -huh. Two and by the bush. By the bush dreams are made of, folks. It's going to get good. Stay tuned. Oh, yeah. Oh, maybe not. No. It was in that grass. Really? Yeah. That is... doesn't even look touched. That is very surprising. Look at... Where's the hook? Oh, it's right there. The hook is... The bait's not even on the hook. That's the problem. How are you gonna catch on the, your bait now on the hook? Gotta have it on the hook. Yeah, she, golly. It, it, I think what happens is it double hooked it, ran it back through the belly. Red. Last one, folks. Here we go. We didn't put it right here. Oh, there's a blue guy. I bet this is a crappie. This is always my crappie hole. Oh, I see one. Fish. Oh, what in the hap Oh, what? Why are you guys hanging out? How, think about how does that how happen? How they get hooked together? Look, the hooks are hooked together. How does that happen? Uh huh? So something obviously messed with it. Really? I mean, we got. He's still alive. Throw him back what in. A, what a trooper. All right, well, what I say, though? That crappy little hook, uh -huh. that one's not awful. Yeah. That's got the old wide gap, but that one's not a good one. So we got to change our hooks out, but we did good. Two crappie, two catfish. Kept one of the catfish. Plenty for dinner. Time to go flay these suckers up and do a catch clean cook. You guys stay tuned. Shoo! Here we are, folks. It's the next day. We are ready to cook up some fish. What we did was we froze most of it. We don't need a whole lot, but Banjo called, and he was all bummed out that he didn't get to catch the fish, especially the crappie and the catfish. He loves to catch cooks, and so I was like, okay, well, go ahead. You come on down, but we are going to get these guys cooked up first. This is the catfish right here. We only took about a half a filet worth, and then we took a half a filet of crappie, just enough for Banjo. We've been eating a ton of fish, so we, we freeze it. We eat it later. Lucy's excited, aren't you, buddy? Yeah, you're ready. What we're gonna do is we're gonna cook this up for Banjo. He should be here pretty soon. And I'm gonna see, you know, he's always giving everybody this, you know, in-depth review over the over what we're eating. I wanna see, can he just determine the difference between a, oh, I need to go with the big nozzle, between catfish and crappie. I try to cut them up so they look similar. I don't, I feel like you wouldn't be able to tell, so we're gonna fry them up. But we're just gonna do the normal, throw some hot sauce in it. And we got the fryer going, so we'll do, do the crappie first. We'll let the catfish marinate just a little bit longer. I don't know. I feel like if you put hot sauce in it and you get this, that there's probably not a good chance that he's going to be able to tell the difference. But take it straight out of the hot sauce. You guys already know the drill. This is nothing new to most of you folks. Throw it in like that. Pack her in just like that. Give her the old pack. Give her the old flip. Just like that. Coat her up real, real nice. And she is ready for the grease. Oh, and the grease is 500 degrees. Hang on. We're going to have to let her. That's all right. Well, here's what we'll do. This stuff's going to fry pretty quick. This is the crappie. It's only three pieces. Should be pretty easy to determine the difference. Then what we're gonna do is we'll take, we got a bunch of catfish. We might as well fry it up. We already got it here. I kind of want to try some too. Cover that up. All right, well, we're gonna let the oil cool down and we'll toss them in the grease. Get it cooked up and see what Banjo thinks. Does he like the catfish better than the crappie or can he even tell the difference? You guys stay tuned. 
All right, boys, crappie going in. Oh, yeah. All right, crappie's in. Once those guys are floating and fried up, throw in the catfish, and Banner should be here any minute. These suckers are golden and crispy. Look at those little nuggies. Oh, oh yeah. All right, while the oil's here and hot, I gotta find some, they gotta look the same. That, does that, that looks just like a crappie. Banjo ain't gonna know. Oh yeah, find a couple more. We'll do three pieces of each, that way, that way it all looks the same. That, I just want it too thick. Maybe the, this will throw him off, this little piece. He'll definitely think that's crappie. That's another thin one. All right, three and three. Let's let these coats, wow, new stuff. Let's let these suckers fry up. All right, boys. Oh yeah. I, I would honestly just look at that and say that's the crappie. It's not though. All right, we gotta fry the rest of the sucker up. Those are gonna be the trial ones for banjo. This is for me. This is just for personal use right here. I think you got your fry system dialed This is it. Yeah. This is, this is the deal. We got the right batter, right combination. The oil's nice and hot. This temperature gauge thing, game changer. You think you know the temp oil? Liar, you don't know what you're talking about. 375, oh, that oil just went right on my finger. 375 is what you're after. Look at that bad boy. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. All right, fry these up. Oh, dude, I would definitely say that's crappie. There's no way. I think we fooled them, so mm -hmm. stay tuned. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I'm excited for something. You said I'm eating something. That's all I know. Yeah, this is uh, you, you didn't ca you weren't here to catch him. I know. I wasn't invited. Him. What you were too. He, he I, I did not get any text. And I got this business meeting for like 20 minutes, but I'm just gonna like not come the whole day. <laughs> all right. Oh, what's going on here? We're frying up the rest of the, some type of fish. I'm not gonna tell you what kind. But oh, we we're here to. Everyone always says that you've got the. Sorry, it's kind of hard to multitask. Everyone says you got the best palate because you're always like. I feel like it's the opposite because I said everything's good. Raccoon's good, everything's good. But I want to see, can you tell the difference between right. catfish and crappie? Catfish. We caught two crappie and a catfish. We only, we didn't cook up a, a lot. The rest of the fish is in there, but. We've had a lot of catfish. I haven't eaten crappie in a while. And first impressions, do you have, visually, can you tell the difference? The fry looks amazing. They look the same. I mean, these look a little bigger. So, I mean, visually might think catfish, but they look pretty similar, I don't know. Which one do you want me to eat first? You, you do whatever, you stick whatever meat in the mouth you want. That's good. Is that the deal? That's flaky. Really? Yeah. Crispy. You like it? I like that. That is, That does look good. Does that look more like catfish or crappie to you? I mean, that's pretty flaky. I'd say... Oh, you don't have to say yeah. You don't have to okay, say yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Based on taste, we gotta figure out if you know. You want it for a second? Okay. Before you say which one, which one do you like better? First one's way better. Really? Way better. Hmm. What's wrong with the second one? No, what's wrong with it? The first one's just better. <laughs> really? All right, I, before you say, I, I want to see if I can figure this out. That one's not bad. I thought that one's pretty good. Mmm, mmm. That one's a little fishy. It's got a little more fishy taste to it. Yeah, yeah. surprisingly. Which, so you like the first one better? Yeah. And I think I like catfish more than crappie. I think it's catfish is first one, second one's crappie. God dang it, how'd he get it, dude? He got it. No, he I didn't. I knew it. Oh, wait. No, he didn't. No, you didn't. Oh, I didn't? No, no. he didn't. Oh, rip. It was backwards. Oh, yeah, I know, you're right. <laughs> you, <laughs> you didn't even know. No, you tricked me because you were like, the bigger pieces are the catfish. I'm over yeah. here like, yeah, you're right. No, I cut them opposite. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, I, rip. So the catfish was fishy. Yeah. Oh, these are fishy. These are, these are done. These little bit. Well, this is catfish, so. <laughs> oh, rip. It was, de it was definitely fishier. Like, I don't so know. So I like the crappie better. Yeah, you yeah. like the crappie. Did you think the crappie tastes a little better? Yeah, oh, the crappie was way better. Yeah. The catfish just, it had a little, came from the pond vibe. Honestly. Yeah. Which normally, but hasn't. the only thing that happens, we waited a, we waited a day. Norm mm. We've been mm. filleting them on the dock. Not a freshie. I wonder, do you think one one day in the fridge, Maybe you wouldn't think it would make that big of a difference? I mean, it wasn't that bad. We just don't compare it to crappie. It's not bad. It just, really you, you just got hit with like a quick like, oh yeah, that's, that's oh, from that's the fish. pond. That's yeah, that's, yeah, that's from the pond. So I wonder if that's the difference. I guess I'm trying to think. Have we every single one of our catches? Because I think we've done this it day been up. like yeah. an hour or after an hour we after. caught it. Might be. Maybe maybe that's it. You guys will let us know. Do you think a day makes a difference for, with? with the, I mean, I just put it in water in the fridge. It wasn't like I did anything crazy. But you thought it was opposite. No. 
but you liked the crappie more. Yeah. I thought the crappie was better too. I think it was just a little less fishy. Pretty similar, not like crazy different. I try, like I said, I try to throw them off. I even threw myself off with the different <laughs> size cuts. I put the biggest chunk of filet of crappie there and put the smallest chunk of catfish just to completely reverse. So I think my psychology worked, yeah, but did. at the end of the day, the crappie's pretty tough to beat, I would say. I don't know. Maybe I, a better one would be crappie and bluegill. Ooh, that would be that tough. would be tough. That'd I don't be really tough. We have to go after some bluegill someday. I think that comparison would be pretty tough to determine between the two. Because I think catfish just has more flavor, and like I said, this one was just a little on the fishy side. It wasn't awful, but anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed banjo. Thanks for coming out and trying our fish. Pretty good. We'll have to get to feasting. We will catch you on the next one, and peace.